Hey guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Thousand Miles by The Kid Leroy, which is a great tune. It's got an awesome guitar riff in it as well. So for the basics, you'll just need a guitar in standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now the guitar I'm playing in this video is the Blue Lava from Lava Music, which has inbuilt effects and inbuilt looper on the three and a half inch high lava touchscreen system. If you want to find out more, there's a link in the description below. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve in your guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so let's start with the main riff, which is a lot of fun to play. So we'll have our ring finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string and our index finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string. We're going to strike both of those strings together on the one beat and on the two beat. So after those two downstrokes, we're then going to quickly do an upstroke on the fourth string and then a downstroke on those two strings again. With your pinky finger, you'll put that on the seventh fret of the fourth string and you'll pluck that with an upstroke and then on the next downstroke, pluck it again and quickly slide up to the ninth fret. So that chunk in total, And one more time. Now remember, you're going up, down, up, down with your picking motion. And after we slide up to the ninth fret, go back to the seventh fret with your pinky finger and with your index finger, put it on the fifth fret of the fifth string. And we're gonna strike those two strings and together for the first bar. Now for the second bar, we'll just shift this exact same shape that we have, our index and pinky finger, down to the third and fifth frets. Then you'll pluck the fifth string, fourth string, and then the open third string with a down, down, up. And then after that, we'll go to a G shape. So you'll just move your index finger up to the third fret of the sixth string, and then your free ring finger goes onto the fifth fret of the fifth string. So we're gonna pluck sixth string, hold that out for a beat, then pluck fourth string, open third string, and the fifth string. One and two and three and four and. And that's it for the main riff, which sounds like this in total. and a little bit faster. So if that main riff is too difficult for you and just wanna strum some chords and sing along, then this is how we're gonna do it. We have four chords, an E minor, a D, a C, and a G. Now the strumming pattern for the first two chords, the E minor to the D, is gonna go like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down. And we're going to change chords on the highlighted down strum here. So the E minor to the D on that highlighted down strum, which sounds like this. Down, 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 down. And then for the C of the G, we have a down, 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 down. And the point at which we change from the C to the G is on that end beat after the two. So one and two and three and four and. So we put that together and this is the easy strummed verse. All right, next we get to the chorus, which has three lines of chords. So we're gonna start with an A minor and we're gonna play that with a down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And that strumming pattern in succession, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So we have an A minor, and then a D for one strumming pattern, and then we go to a G, 
and a D slash F sharp. So from the G, just keep your ring finger where it is and put your index and middle finger on the second frets of the sixth and third string. You can keep that first string muted. Now for the G and the D slash F sharp, they're both contained in one strumming pattern, which is down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So it's basically down, 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 up for each of those chords. So. And then we go to an E minor, and we return back to the strumming pattern that we had for the A minor and D. For the second line of chords, it's almost the same, except for the final bar, we have an E minor and D. And again, we're using that strumming pattern that we have for the G to the D slash F sharp. And for the third line of chords, we have a C chord. So it's best to play this as a C bar chord because then we can easily transition to the C minor. But if you wanna play the open C chord, that's fine as well. But the C bar chord looks like this, next finger on the third fret of the fifth string and all your other fingers on the fifth frets of the fourth, third and second strings. So we're gonna strum that for the strumming pattern that we had for some of those other chords. And then when we get to the C minor, we're just gonna strum out once and hold it for a bar. So that's it for the chorus, which sounds like this. Now the only other part to learn in this song is the bridge, which is quite simple. It's using similar shapes to what we had in the main riff. So we start off with this E minor shape here, and we're gonna play open sixth string, fifth string, open third string, and then fourth string. So one and two and. Then we're gonna play that D5 chord shape that we had for the main riff. We're gonna pluck the fifth string, fourth string, third string, and back to fourth string. With a down, down, up, up. So the first bar. For the next bar, we just shift that exact same shape down to our C chord. We're gonna pluck the fifth, fourth, third string, and then go to our G chord, pluck the sixth string, fifth string, open third, and then lift your pinky finger, have your middle finger on that fourth fret of the fourth string, pluck that, and then put your pinky finger back down. So five plucks there and the bar in total, one and two and three and four and, and the bridge riff in total. And that's just played through twice and then we return to the main riff. Now if that bridge riff is too hard for you, then you can just strum the verse chords as well. So you could just strum the E minor and D and hold them out for two beats each and then the C for one and a half beats and the G on the end beat after two. So an easy way of playing that bridge. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And those are all the parts you need to learn for this song. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and have my good friend Eric lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerotohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.